Another teacher at Rock Canyon High School who's not in STEM and not in science, but teaching her students about the fall of Rome through the fall of Detroit. In a school district where innovative teachers are treated like rock stars. Thank you so much for joining me in recognizing some of the most innovative pioneering spirits in our school district, rising stars. And where students apply their learning every day in authentic projects that have an actual impact. So without further ado, we give you Reese's Robot. Like a robot created to help a homebound student see and hear inside the classroom. So these are some of the controllers we have come up with in order to aid Reese. He doesn't have that much dexterity in his hands and it's hard for him to click buttons and move a mouse around. It should be no surprise that DCSD's strategic plan says American education has to change. Among the convergence of educational experts that led us to that conclusion was Mark Prinsky. I am hoping that teachers and educators in general will move to thinking about the future and preparing kids for the future. And in a keynote address at the Douglas County Fairgrounds. It is a pleasure to introduce and please join us in welcoming Mark Prinsky. He had the opportunity to bring that message to every Douglas County teacher. So our goal has to be to bring our kids into the future equipped with the skills that will allow them to function and thrive in the new and very different context of tomorrow. Mark Prinsky says that it's crucial that educators begin to think about the future and the new realities that our kids may face, even if the changes are scary. When the world changes, when it becomes unstable and, and complex and ambiguous as it is now, when we start to have accelerating change as we do now, faster and faster and faster change, when we have everybody networked at the same time as their minds are being expanded by technology, all these changes at once, it's scary. It's scary to me, it's scary to teachers, it's scary to parents, it is scary. But we have to feel the fear and do it anyway, because our kids need it. And feeling the fear and doing it anyway is the definition of courage. So let's be courageous and do what needs to be done for our kids. He says that there is no time to waste because our kids have already changed. As digital natives born with access to computers, their priorities and the way that they learn is already different, something that he heard a lot of during his visit with DCSD students. Well, my favorite kind of topic is uh, the brain, and I want to be a neurologist when I grow up. So I'll teach myself about the brain and um, different things. And how do you teach yourself? Uh, online, uh, okay. on the internet. If we learn the material and do the work, it's, it's really not necessary to keep stressing someone out about doing pointless worksheets and tests and stuff like that when we would rather just spend the class time learning. Our report card wasn't based on our tests. It was based on, um, we took the GVCs, which stands for Education That Every Child Deserves, which is um, guaranteed viable curriculum. And um, we had to take all the GVCs and take all our work and integrate it and relate it to the GVCs. And um, that was our report card. And I think that's a lot more meaningful than what I did last year. OK, so you enjoyed doing that. Well, a couple of months ago, we did a multi um, curricular project on the Northern Colorado Succession. And so it was really interesting to see how we could make a change in the world and, it, and also to be really involved in our school, and not only our school, but our community and our state. And like, see how even though we're only in middle school, we can make such a big difference by writing letters and really getting our word out there. I would encourage the conversation between the students and those teachers because the students were very clear and vocal about what they needed and how they wanted to be taught and what was important to them and how much they hated worksheets and how much they wanted real projects. I'm also creating a blog. Change isn't coming. If you talk to our kids, it's already here. The question is whether we as a school district will help them to prepare to compete on a world stage for a college or career of their choice. Now let me ask you this, teachers. How will you engage your students to get them to apply their knowledge? Thank you.